Hey guys and welcome to Dainty Bite. Today I'm going to show you how to make amazing turkey meatballs my way. Let's get started. These are going to be lighter, juicier and so so good. I start with 2 pounds of turkey. I'm using lean turkey 93%. I'm adding a handful of tarragon, my absolute favorite herb for turkey. It has a nice aroma and flavor and goes very well with this dish. Add on top of the turkey, add half a teaspoon of thyme, half teaspoon of paprika. Add half a tablespoon herb de Provence. If you don't have it, you can just add Italian seasoning. Half a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of black pepper. Crack one egg on top of everything. You're gonna add half a cup of panko crumbs, plain, unseasoned. To that, you're gonna add half a cup of milk. I'm gonna add them on top of the turkey, but you can add the milk to the panko crumbs and let them soak a little bit. On the other side of the kitchen, I'm gonna saute some onions and some poblano peppers or your favorite pepper. Half large onion, this is sweet onion, and one whole poblano pepper. I'm gonna saute in 40 grams of butter. Just leave them for 15 to 20 minutes. I want them to become soft, but I don't want them to change in color. Towards the end, I add two cloves of garlic mashed. I wait for them to cool a little bit before I add to the meat. And it's very important to do that. You don't want to cook the meat, not just yet. I mix, but I don't over mix. As soon as it comes together, I'm going to form some large balls. You can use the cookie scoop or you can use your hands. At this point, you can bake right away or you can coat with some panko crumbs. I'm going to sear them before I place them in the oven. You can skip that step or you can add a little crunch and do as I did. Just make sure to season the panko crumbs with a little bit of Italian seasoning and some salt. Coat with the panko crumbs and set it aside. And as always, I leave all the amounts and all the ingredients in the description box below, so check it out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and follow me on social media. The links are going to be in the description box below. I finished the whole amount and then I'm going to sear them in a cast iron pan, just like so, on high heat on all sides, just to get a little bit of color. If you want them a little lighter, you can skip this step. It's definitely going to add a little bit of crunch and more flavor. I'm searing in butter, about 40 to 50 grams of butter. After I sear it on all sides, I place in the oven at 385 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. It's going to become something like this. At this point, it's mostly cooked. I'm going to add some tomato sauce some parmesan put it back in the oven for five minutes and it's gonna be ready i add a touch of water before i place in the oven and i'm gonna toast some bread add some garlic butter toast on both sides It's starting to smell amazing in here, the garlic, the butter. I can't wait to take the meatballs out of the oven. The turkey meatballs are ready. They are smelling heavenly. I'm going to add lots and lots of Parmesan, some basil. I'm going to serve with the grilled bread. I really, really hope you give this recipe a try. 
It is so flavorful, so juicy and tender. And until next time, bon appétit!